Hi everyone! In this video I will present our latest addition to our Excel templates library collection. This holiday rental properties management Excel tool could be your complete solution for managing up to 100 different rental properties from holiday homes, apartments, hotel apartments, villas and Airbnbs, bookings and reservations, issuing booking confirmations and invoices, recording customer payments, business expenses, financial reporting, all for your business through an easy to use dashboard and all in Excel. With a dynamic booking calendar view, easily find available properties, record new bookings using simple dedicated forms, send out automated booking confirmations. Fully customizable setup for your business, pre-configured booking rates for each property based on length of stay and seasonality. Manage all booking information in a single dedicated panel and perform all necessary actions throughout your guest stay all in one place. Track all your expenses from wages and utilities to maintenance and booking fees. Simply input any expense and let the program categorize and organize everything for easy financial analysis and have a complete overview of your business performance. So if you are in the rental business managing up to 100 different properties, then this Excel tool could be your alternative solution to other expensive specialized software designed to simplify your workflow. So let's take a brief closer look and see how we can help you. So let's start by opening our Excel uh, tool first time you open uh, this Excel file, a warning message will come up at the top with a yellow highlight. It's basically asking you to enable uh, macros. All you have to do is click enable content. So opening up the file, you will see this uh, specifically designed uh, homepage dashboard. Um, uh, this tool was uh, a design having in mind a rental, a holiday rental properties uh, business and um, in this in this uh, dashboard there's everything you will need for running this software on the left there are dedicated buttons for every function you are going to be using so this is your main portal uh, when uh, using this software um, <coughs> in the middle there are some uh, profit income and expenses for your business um, first image there are some statistics um, regarding today your occupancy rate today's occupancy rate how many available properties uh, um, you have today how many are checking in and checking out also some general statistics about your business your average daily booking rate uh, daily revenue average revenue per property and the average uh, duration of each uh, stay we also have um, a nice uh, statistic here popularity per property just to have an image of what your customers prefer the most uh, plus some um, quick access um, graphs showing your monthly uh, average uh, profit also a monthly comparison between your income and expenses and a breakdown of all your expenses per category so uh, there are also some uh, quick access uh, buttons here at the top we will have a look at them in a moment uh, basically what they do is it, it will show you uh, which properties are due to check in today and the same with which uh, of your properties are, are bound to check out today are planned to check out today view all your checked in properties and um, a history per property so first we are going to start with the initial business setup this will open a new sheet uh, enter your business name here at the top I will write uh, rental rental properties limited um, 
at your business address here, your telephone number and a contact email. If you have a link uh, from Google Maps, you can enter it here. This will appear in the booking confirmation when you send out the booking confirmations. Um, your VAT rate and also set up your main check-in time and check-out time. This information will all appear in the booking confirmation printouts you'll be sending to your customers uh, as well as on the customer invoices. Now there are four tables here and basically what they are is uh, for us is asking us to set up our business. First one which is the only required um, information we need to give is the property type. What property types, rental types, we offer. For instance, we are offering um, one bedroom apartments, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments, studio apartment, luxury villa. And for the sake of this exercise, I will add a new type. Let's name it um, three bedroom villa with pool with pool sorry with pool so this is another property type that we just acquired and uh, we are offering for rentals now the next three the next three tables are optional but I do suggest to use them uh, they will help you in filtering out different properties and is more e make it more easy for you to uh, locate and find properties available to rent. For instance, I will jump to the location. Maybe a guest is requesting uh, to rent a property in a specific location. So if you have your, all your locations ready, you can easily filter by location and see and look for availability. So let's add another um, location here. I will add Paphos. No, I have Paphos. I will add uh, Larnaca as a new location. Building levels. Basically, it's just for your information. This is more um, um, related to apartments on which floor each apartment is located. We have a couple of floors here, first, second, third and fifth, fourth and fifth. And if you want to use codes, different codes for m more easily identifying um, uh, your properties, you can enter them here. For instance, I used apartment one, apartment two, apartment three, three bedroom apartment, studio, I used the code ST, luxury villa, I've used the code LV. And for our new type of uh, property, I will use um, uh, luxury villa, three bedroom with pool. So this is the main business setup. Um, once you're finished, just click on the home page and it will take you back to the dashboard. So the next thing uh, we need to set up is our actual, our actual properties. Now that we have set up our uh, property types and our locations we need to tell the program what properties we actually have so click on the property setup it will open um, what it looks like a big table it's nothing to worry about this is basically our business properties matrix so what do we do property name we add all of our properties by their name in this first column as you can see, there are already some uh, properties populated here. Apartment 1001, 2, 3, apartment 04 in Asana, in Anasa building, uh, Villa Pantheon, Villa Jour, and so on. So we will give a name to our new acquired uh, property. I will name it Villa Ira. That's our new property. Property type, click on the drop down and select from the types we have set up in the previous sheet. Here it is three bedroom villa with pool. If you want to add the property code, it's also available in the drop down level. This is a ground floor villa and it's located in Larnaca. Does it have disabled access? Yes. 
if you know the property area, you can simply enter it here, uh, for instance, 250 square meters. Um, next up are all the information. They are all optional. You don't need to enter this information, but it will help you and create a complete property matrix of your business. The first section is the beds and capacity. So uh, how many double beds this uh, villa have? Since it's a three bedroom, it has two double beds and two single beds. Uh, it also has one sofa bed, baby cots available, yes. How many people does this uh, uh, property sleep? without using the sofa bed. So basically it's two, four, six people as a regular uh, capacity, but it can accommodate up to seven. Next section, some further information about your fittings, your fixtures and fittings for this property. Does it have a pool? Yes. Wi-Fi? Yes. Parking? Hot tub? No. Uh, sauna? No. AC? Yes barbecue yes cable tv fireplace no uh, fully equipped kitchen yes dishwasher washing machine gym no tennis court no public transport yes is it pet friendly yes so um all you have to do is um, fill in this um, property matrix uh, table it's only done once for all your properties and if you fill in all the information available, you have a wonderful matrix of your business. Um, so let's go back to the home page. Now that we have set up our all of our properties available for renting, uh, you can also view a property summary. This is just a summary page uh, telling you how many properties you have, um, properties per location, per type, how many properties with uh, disabled access, your standard capacity, maximum capacity, and on the different levels. It's just for your information. Next thing and the last thing we need to set up for our business is the actual booking rates. This will be used throughout the operations for entering new bookings. Instead of calculating booking rates each time, the software will pick up these booking rates from the from this setup table as you can see our new acquired property villa era has already appeared in the table here and we still haven't provided uh, our booking rates for this villa so we have separated our booking rates for each uh, property into two into two sections first one is for regular season uh, rates and the next one is for our peak season. Peak season is set up again, it's customly, uh, you can customize your peak season by entering dates at these two uh, cells. When does your peak season start? Let's say it starts on the first, on the first of uh, July and ends on the 15th of September. So when entering um, a new booking, depending on the booking uh, check-in date, the software will check this, um, this uh, setup. If it belongs within this uh, peak season period, it will pick up rates from this section of the table. If not, and it's a regular season uh, rent rate, it will select a rate from this section of the table. Each of the two is again separated into three different rates, which we call short stay, short stay, long stay, and anything in between a medium stay. Again, these are defined and customized by the user with these uh, two cells here. Uh, short stay, up to how many days we consider it to be a short stay we have set up here five days so any booking up to five days it will be considered as a short stay renting and we will pick up rates from either this column or this column and the next uh, setting what is considered a long stay duration 
anything more than 20 days more than 20 days it will be considered as a long stay so we can set up rates depending on the duration as well as on seasonality so for our villa era uh, regular season rent rates is 150 for a short stay 140 for a medium duration and 125 for a long stay in the regular season if the specific property is booked in a high season in our peak season rates uh, will be a little bit higher 200 for a short stay 190 for medium and 175 for a long stay duration once you've set up your booking uh, rent rates again this is done once and every time you add new property you will have to come back and um, enter the booking rates for this new property same way we just did so once finished click on the home page it will take you back to the dashboard now we are ready to start taking in new bookings so i'm going to click on the bookings calendar view button here this will open a calendar view showing all our properties and a calendar with uh, marked properties that are booked on specific dates this calendar is dynamic you can change um, the month or the year for which uh, the dates are shown this is done from these two cells here so select which year you want to see let's say if we choose year 2023 a calendar will change starting from October 2023 2024 this is your calendar uh, select month uh, it's easier it's easier to view bookings for a specific month than viewing the whole year uh, I currently have, sel uh, have selected here the month of October and you can see the calendar is starting from October 1st and uh, showing two weeks prior to this uh, starting date it's easier to view a little bit further back and the calendar goes all the way to the end of October and two weeks after into November if we change the month let's say let's look at September you see here it starts two weeks prior September 1st and it goes up to October 16th if you want to have a look of the whole year you can select at the top here full year and it will again start two weeks before the beginning of the year January 1st 2024 and it, the calendar will show a complete year based on our selection here at the top so let's change it back to October so now we are viewing October 2024 plus two weeks before and two weeks after on the left we have a list of all of our properties you can very easily filter for instance per location let's filter and show locations in uh, Larnaca so this is our Villa Ira we've just entered we only have one location in um, uh, Larnaca and it's currently not booked if you want to show if you want to clear all the filters just click on show wall and it will show all the properties again so um, let's start by adding a booking for this uh, newly acquired uh, property Villa Ira and I will book it for today let's say the booking was made a couple of days before and the check-in is today the 3rd of October add new booking booked on let's say the 1st of October booking ID you can either enter a custom booking ID if the booking was made through another platform let's say booking.com and uh, your customer already has a booking reference you can enter it here or if not you can generate a unique booking ID this is very important every booking must have a unique reference number property name selected from the drop-down list it will show all your available properties this is picked up 
from the table matrix we showed earlier. So the property is Villa Ira. When is the check-in? On the 3rd of October. And as soon as I enter a checkout date, let's say um, until the 8th of October, hit enter, you will see that the booking is for five nights. Rate per night is 150. Um, since this is this is um, out of the peak season, it's in October, and it's only for five uh, nights. It's considered a short stay, so it's giving us the proper uh, booking rate for this property, for this uh, duration, for this period in time. If your customer is a relative, a friend, and you want to give a discount of the, or if they have a, a coupon, a voucher, and you want to override this uh, preset uh, rate per night, you can do so by entering an amount here, let's say 100 euro. Uh, we have a special discount, so the rate per night is 100 euro. So five nights uh, times 100, the total for this booking will be 500. Some information about our guest. I will just type here uh, guest name. How many guests will be accompanying um, this booking? Five people from uh, UK. If they have an email, if you have the email, enter it here. Phone number, ID or passport and any special notes you might want to add for this customer. So once we're satisfied with the booking, click Save Booking. So once we click Save Booking, it will bring us to the booking entries. This is a complete table of all of our bookings throughout time. And uh, all the information of each booking are shown on this table. When it was booked, the booking ID, the reference number for the booking, the property, check-in and check-out dates, you can see uh, 3rd of October, it's actually today. Uh, this uh, property will be checking in today and is highlighted here to show us today's um, properties uh, that are checking in or checking out. Uh, duration in nights, rate per night and we override it. Uh, it was 150 and we placed an override in the rate to 100, that's the total guest name, how many people, country, email, phone number, passport, the status is booked, special notes, and since this property has not checked in, in yet, uh, there is no balance, to, uh, balance due. So uh, let's go back to the calendar view. We should be seeing here the Villa Ira, we've booked it from the 3rd of October until the 7th. On the 8th, they're checking out and the villa is available again. Go back to homepage. If you want to visit the booking entries table, click on all bookings and we'll bring you to this table. Um, few uh, quick access tools. Uh, let's see which rooms are checking in today. These two rooms show all and the same with uh, which rooms are checking out today. Only one uh, property will be checking out today. And also show us which properties are already checked in. Here you go. These properties are checked in today. They are occupied basically. So show all. Now, um, a time has come, our guest has arrived and they want to check in to our uh, property, Villa Ira. So uh, what we do, we need to copy this uh, booking ID, just uh, control C for copy and click on view booking details. Enter the, co the booking ID here, hit OK and this will open the dedicated panel for each of your bookings. This is where you will be managing each booking individually and perform actions um, that are necessary like checking in, checking out, um, add additional uh, charges, uh, issue invoices and record customer payments. Um, our booking details are shown here at the top. 
as well as our guest information. The status of this property is booked, meaning that um, our guest has not checked in yet. Um, if you wanted to send a booking confirmation, as soon as the booking was made, send a booking confirmation to the customer. Click on the print booking confirmation button. A dialog box will appear to save this PDF file somewhere on your computer. Uh, the file name is already populated. Booking confirmation for booking ID this number. Click save. And let's open up the booking confirmation. So this is our booking confirmation that we can uh, print or email to our customer and it shows all the necessary information for the booking. You can see here at the bottom check in time and check out time. Uh, a link for uh, taking to Google Maps with the actual location of our property, our uh, business address at the top and so on. So let's close this and come back. Now, um, let's say we want to check in this property. The guest has arrived and we want to check in. As soon as I click check in, the status will change. Charges for the booking will appear here and the balance due will change to the booking charge. So check in has checked in and you can see the charges for this room at the moment is only the accommodation charges, the, ra uh, the rate per night charges, uh, 100 per night, 5 nights, 500. And this is the balance due. So let's go back to our, um, to our dashboard. Let's say at any instance in time during the duration of uh, a guest uh, stay, they acquired um, some uh, taxi service and we are going to charge them. So we need to find that booking again. So control C copy, view booking details, paste, and we'll open again the detail panel for this booking. So what we want to do is add some additional charges to this um, customer. So add charges, a new form will appear, let's say on the 4th of October for this booking ID, the amount of 50 euro, uh, description uh, will be taxi service, you see the property name and the booking ID have already been uh, populated and category, there's a drop down list of different uh, charging categories you can use. This one is in transportation. Click save. As soon as you click save, uh, the additional charge would be added to this booking and you can view it here. Taxi service, an additional 50 euro and the balance due now is 550. So let's uh, review the process for checking out. If you click on view invoice before uh, checking out this uh, room, this property, if you click on view invoice, the invoice will be opened up and it will say no invoice found. This is because we haven't yet checked out our guest. So to issue in an invoice, you, need to, you will need to click on check out invoice. You will see the status has changed to checked out and now an invoice has been created with our business information, uh, the booking details, customer names and invoice number. This is an automatic generated number, unique again, and uh, breakdown analysis of the charges. You see 500 was the booking, another 50 additional for the taxi, total of 550, including these prices include your VAT rate you had set up in the original uh, setup sheet. Amount you 550. This uh, customer has not paid anything yet. So from here you can either print the invoice and hand it out uh, to your customer or print it as a PDF and send it via email. If you want to add a payment, uh, just click on add payment, a dedicated form will appear. Most of the fields will be uh, already filled in, like the property name, booking ID, the date, the amount, 
that's the balance due total balance due 550 so let's say a customer can only pay 300 at the moment and they promised to send the rest via wire transfer tomorrow uh, let's say payment method they paid by cash and click on add payment as soon as you add the payment it will bring you back to the detailed panel for this booking and uh, you can see that the uh, financial analysis has been updated total 550 paid 300 balance due 250 um, so next day uh, they send us a payment and we want to record it um, let's go back to home page there's a dedicated button here at the bottom view outstanding payments this will show all the bookings that have a balance due that have checked out and not paid in full yes so let's cl let's uh, click on outstanding payments these are all our outstanding payments and you can see here at the top villa era with this booking id they have a balance of 250 so uh, if you want to go and see the detail panel for this booking copy the booking id view booking details and okay and it will bring you back to the specific uh, booking details so what we want to do is add another payment add payment this time for the remaining amount 250 it's already populated payment method by a bank transfer add payment so now the balance is zero if we have a look at the invoice you will see that the balance is um, uh, that the total invoice has been paid in full it shows here paid and we can again print and send uh, the invoice to the customer so go back if at any point after you checked out a property and you issued an invoice you want to make changes let's say add more charges you can still do this add charges and add a new charge all you have to do though is click on the checkout and create invoice button again this will not create a new invoice it will just update the existing one and you can see here the message booking id with this number has been checked out an invoice number 12 has been created or updated and you can have a look at the invoice again with the same number if you want to have a look at all the payments the specific customer made for this specific uh, booking click on view payments and it shows the two payments the customer made so going back we've covered our bookings calendar view adding new booking either from the calendar view or from here directly it's easier to do it through the calendar view since you you have an overview of your availability now let's go into expenses any business will have running expenses uh, let's add a new expense let's say for uh, on the 8th of october we've paid the amount of 75 euro for cleaning uh, category it was cleaning now if this expense is general to the whole business it's a general expense for instance it can be a mortgage loan or a insurance loan uh, you don't have to enter a property name here as it involves uh, the business as a whole or if it's specific to a property let's say we, we had to clean villa era you can enter the property name from the drop down and click on save this will bring um, after you click save the expense will be recorded and will open up a table showing all your business expenses if we go now to the financial uh, reporting we have a financial report for a business as a whole select the range of years from 2023 to 2024 if i change it to 23 you will see we have no income in the year 2023 whereas 24 the um, uh, the spreadsheets automatically change and it displays at the top here 
all your uh, income per month as well as all your expenses uh, again per month with totals showing the net profit total income and total expenses with the same type of graphics of uh, graphs um, a monthly profit comparison between income and expenses as well as your expense categories breakdown I'll go back to a home page the next financial report is per property uh, apart from selecting a range for the report to show uh, data you can also select a property and this will show uh, financial reporting specific for this uh, property the view outstanding payments uh, again it will show rooms that have checked out and have not paid in full yet go back and very important uh, before you close this excel file you need to save all your changes otherwise any changes you've made will be lost so click on the save and exit button and this will uh, close the excel file so as you can see everything to manage your rental properties uh, business can be handled through this uh, home page uh, dashboard especially designed for this kind of business you can add uh, new bookings uh, send booking confirmations issue invoices record payments business expenses view financial reports all in excel Thank you for watching.